Hi students, so in this video I'm going to show you how to solve problems involving compound angles. So in order to do this problem you will need uh, two things, a calculator and access to the internet via an iPad or your computer. So here's my given problem, cos of A minus 180. Now I can also write this as cos of, that's 180 degrees, cos of A minus pi it's one and the same pi is in radians 180 is in degrees so how do you solve this problem so go on my website for the maths session 5 and i hope you have watched this lecture explaining to you compound angles and uh, here's a summary of the lecture so i'm going to be using these complex compound angle formulae in order to solve this problem so now I've got a uh, cos of a plus b, cos of a minus b. This over here is sim is very similar to cos of a minus b. So I'm going to repeat my formula here. Cos of a minus b equals to cos a cos b plus sine of a sine of b. Now cos of a is uh, it's a same it's the same thing over here. So cos of a you can't really reduce it any further now b is 180 so cos of 180 plus sine of a which is a and sine of b is again 180 now cos of 180 and sine 180 these are uh, values which i can solve so i can use my calculator to solve them make sure your calculator is in the correct mode it's in the degree mode right now if not what you can do is to change the mode that is go to mode and here it says uh, oops so shift setup and here's the degree you press 3 for degrees and 4 for radians and I press 3 now it is in the degree mode which shows by the small d sign there so back to the problem cos a times cos of 180 so cos 180 close bracket is equal to minus 1 so times minus 1 plus always remember brackets are important because it's a negative number plus sin a now sin 180 sin open sin 180 close bracket equals to 0 times 0 now as a result of this minus sign I'm going to keep this aside as a result of this minus sign this entire expression goes negative so that's going to be cos of minus cos of a because this is cos a times mu multiplied by minus 1 so minus cos of a plus sin a so I'm just going to write it down again minus cos a plus sin a or it can also be written as sin a minus cos a just looks neater because uh, you always uh, you don't really need to write a sign in front of the first expression so cos of a minus b can be reduced as sine of a minus cos of a now i'm going to solve the second part now cos of a minus pi which is again very similar so cos of a minus pi it's going to be solved in the same way again so that's going to be cos a cos pi plus sine a sine pi now when solving this make sure that your calculator is in the is in the radian mode because pi there is a radian so now what I'm going to do is change my calculator into radian mode so again press shift mode 4 is radian and uh, 
now that we have it in the radian mode I can solve this problem so cos of pi will be cos pi oops, shift pi close it's going to be minus 1 keep this aside here that's going to be cos a times minus 1 plus sine a times I'm just going to change this repeat this sine of shift pi close bracket will be 0 as times so that's going to be equal to minus cos a plus sine a or it's the same as sine a minus cos a so now once you've finished your work it is a good practice to verify all of the steps that you have done and what i'm going to do is check my work now so cos a cos b sine a sine b use the formula that should be all right cos a times minus one is minus cos a sin a times 0 is sin a ah mistake so I have made a mistake here sin a times 0 I have marked as sin a so please be careful that you do not do this mistake I'm going to mark it and now correct it by just cancelling it off And my final answer will be there is no sign A. It's going to be minus cos A. Now second work, second bit, cos A, cos pi, sin A, sin pi. Uh, again, I made the same mistake over here. Sin A, so cancel it. And there you go. So this is going to be equal to minus cos of A. And so is this.